Welcome to TradingMedia.com. This is John. This is for the 6th. Hope everyone had a great holiday and a celebration. Not much happened during the uh, fourth holiday. Just a little bit of fill back within the... Uh, well, actually, I should put the ES up here first so that we can look at that. But um, interesting to see developing is the white MBI spike. However, you still have cyan under red. And it's just basically, again, one of these short-term buyer fade-offs coming down towards the negative 13.5. Of course positive extreme for this move. So that's your potential low target around the 4430 uh, should any weakness continue. But it looks like another one of those uh, reset configurations. Uh, the interesting one for me will be checking out ShakeOut. Uh, if it peaks out and begins a lower histogram at the higher level here with the matching highs, that could prove to be a little more problematic. But at this particular point, nothing seems to be overly dramatic, just normal fillback within the ranges from an NQ standpoint. Stronger doesn't quite have that crossover on the MBI. Still cyan under red, same situation with short term buyer fade out. But you can see the rejection here uh, developing of uh, green DOC to cyan. That's usually a net positive overall. And the NASDAQ did not have positive extremes. And the yellow warning um, that can get filled usually halfway or a little bit more, but uh, not necessarily a problem signal from that standpoint. So all in all, things are fine. What a shock here. We're looking at treasuries and a uh, big surprise. All these people who uh, ended up with much lower yield uh, just couldn't wait to get their money into treasuries. If they had, they would have been better off. And this is the problem I'm having with TS this morning, just kind of popping in and out for me. Uh, daily from an oil standpoint, uh, upper side of the middle range, uh, not a surprise, we kind of expected it to move this way, but we're seeing a little bit of MBI white pop, could be enough to uh, quell the enthusiasm, but still you can see it's just basically creating an, a mean price right in that middle range in the uh, low 70. Uh, if we get up further, well, then it could be a bit more of an issue. And uh, from a gold standpoint, again, we didn't expect a whole lot of anything from gold or even from a crypto space, but clearly my charts from a euro standpoint not have faded. Euro is pretty much uh, middle zone, uh, 108 range, so not a whole lot of activity there, despite the disruptions that are taking place in Europe. I mean, we see it uh, in France, uh, some problems in Germany as well. Uh, kind of interesting to see those developments and whether or not that will have a significant economic impact, but. Needless to say, the Eurozone shouldn't be where it is anyway, so it's being held up in that median range that makes it reasonable, uh, because once you get below that 106 to the 104 range, it becomes really problematic, and that's been the problem. Uh, from a Bitcoin standpoint, upper end of the range, and that's not a surprise given what we were talking about from a news-related and an interest setup. Um, and of course, I don't have my ETH, but ETH clearly has not performed nearly as well. And of course, with this temporary reboot, it's going to do the same thing for 50 and 5K, though I was just looking at them. Um, we're a little bit soft for the morning, but overall, uh, there's been a steady return intraday uh, move back up to where we're at at this particular stage. So if I get the intraday charts, I'll put them on Skype chat and go from there. But as always, trade well. We'll talk to you later.